Hi there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I am here to talk about the 10 worst rated books that I have read uh, according to Goodreads, uh, and this data was gathered on December 25th, 2020, uh, which as years go by, as more ratings go up, and as, m and as I read more books, uh, this is subject to change, but this is what the list looks like at this point. Uh, and this was inspired by uh, Perry from Literary Niterary, who did uh, lists of this nature. Uh, she did reviews. Uh, I am just going to go over uh, the books uh, that are on this list. Uh, and there are some differences, uh, because a lot of these books do not have as many uh, ratings, for one. Uh, for two... Uh, there are also books that uh, I don't necessarily uh, agree with their placement uh, because there there are two books on here that I've actually that I actually liked. Uh, while on the uh, on the other list uh, they are the best rated and I liked all ten of them. Uh, but let's get right into this. Uh, the book with the lowest rating uh, that I have read according to Goodreads, is Salem Pack by Carlotta Holton, which is quite a bummer because Carlotta Holton is a a good friend of mine and she is a great writer. Uh, if you want to read something uh, great that she has written, I would highly encourage you to check out Touching the Dead, which is an anthology... It's, it's a collection of short stories that are inspired by uh, multicultural uh, superstitions from across the globe. And those are some, she does a great job creating tales uh, based off of each. Uh, Salem Pact has uh, an average Goodreads rating of 2.8 stars uh, out of 5 ratings, uh, I gave this a two, uh, because it is very challenging to follow, uh, and to me, when it comes to, uh, works about the Salem witch trials, uh, I've come across so many of them, uh, that it needs to be done, uh, as best as possible. Uh, I think that this, uh, what she was trying to get at, it was a bit challenging to uh, accomplish uh, within this piece, uh, the way that it uh, the way that it paced it. Uh, but uh, in my mind, uh, aside from an actual uh, historical account about the events, uh, the fictionalized version that to me reigns supreme as far as works about the Salem Witch Trials are concerned is The Crucible, uh, the Arthur Miller play. I think that's the uh, high-standing uh, work because the uh, Nightmare Room trilogy, uh, Fear Games, touched upon it and they did a pretty uh, poor job as well. Uh, at that point I was just... <sighs> but... Uh, I would highly suggest that you look into Carlotta Holton, but I would highly encourage you to check out uh, Touching the Dead and some of her other uh, works. The uh, second worst rated book that uh, from Goodreads that I have read, uh, I don't own it anymore. I probably donated it. Uh, and that is a Blizzard by George Stone. Uh, that has an average of 2.96 stars out of 46 ratings, and I rated it one star. Uh, it was a very... Uh, to me, it was... Uh, I read it back in 2000... I read it in 2009 or 2010. I want to say I read it in 2010, uh, and it was what I would call a Swiss cheese work. It had so many holes in its plot and in its structure. Uh, it introduced something, and then it just abandoned it. And it just ran itself into so many dead ends that 
you really couldn't grasp uh, the story at hand. The premise was intriguing, but the execution uh, was an ultimate failure. Uh, the next worst rated book uh, that I read, uh, according to Goodreads, uh, in, num in the third slot is Moscow in the 1930s by Natalia Gromova. And uh, this has uh, an average Goodreads rating of uh, three stars. Uh, I rated it two and a half. Uh, and this is out of seven ratings. Uh, I actually got this as a, uh, a review copy uh, from the publisher. Uh, they reached out to me, uh, gave me some books, and I happened to make my way through this. Uh, I was in 2016 when uh, a few uh, publishing companies uh, tapped on me to uh, review their books. Uh, the other one was for the Monocled Mutineer, and that one was not good. Uh, the only good thing about it is that the pages smelled like roasted chicken. But, back to Moscow in the 1930s, I think that the downside to this one is that it was very clunky. Uh, it took a direction that I was not... I, the na it really touched upon some unfamiliar uh, names, and it really didn't do enough to uh, get me into uh, these people and their backgrounds. Uh, I was hoping that it would be a little bit more about the writers, as they said it would be a little bit more about, but I didn't really get a good sense of that. So, it this one did not really stick with me. Uh, the fourth lowest rated uh, book that was... Uh, that I've read, uh, according to Goodreads, is Andrew's Brain by E.L. Doctra. Uh, this has an average Goodreads rating of 3.21 out of 4,349 uh, ratings. Uh, I rated it, a, I gave it four out of five, and I thought that this was a very intriguing novel. Uh, it really uh, the way that it was arranged, the way that it was very outside of the box, and the way that it examines uh, the central character circumstances, uh, it was quite fascinating, uh, the whole uh, interrogation, uh, the whole process uh, that took place within this book. Uh, The next lowest rated book uh, that I have read, according to Goodreads, is Faber New Poets 2, which is a collection of poetry from Toby Martinez uh, de las Rives. And this has an average Goodreads rating of 3.29 out of 14 ratings, and I gave it a 3. Uh, these poems in here, if I remember correctly, were these poems in here were just okay. Uh, nothing that really stuck out with me. Uh, and I've come across better. Uh, that's pretty much it. The next one is a children's book that I do not have on my possession. Uh, if I do, it's buried somewhere. And when I find it, I'm probably going to donate it. Uh, and that is... I Am a Mountain Mouse by Gianna Marino. Uh, it has an average uh, Goodreads rating of 3.3 stars, and I rated it one and a half, uh, because the central mouse within these collections of stories, uh, there are four stories, uh, four circumstances, uh, the central white mouse uh, is such a uh, a cocky turd that he always thinks he's better than everyone else and gets himself into situations and takes advantage of those that are around him. Uh, they always up stumbling and getting hurt. Uh, the white mouse continues to, he get he stumbles and uh, doesn't reach his motive that he's trying to uh, reach. So it is a, it, it's a sense of him being served right but he does so at the expense of those around him who want nothing more than to be left be. 
Uh, so it is very aggravating and annoying. And uh, the same can be said about the mouse. The, this friggin' mountain mouse. So it's not worth checking out. Uh, it's just a matter of and I think that with parents, it's going to, it's as, uh, I think a parent would be as eager to pick this book up as they are uh, bringing their kids to Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I think this one is going to require uh, maybe not as much uh, Tylenol, but still. And this had... Uh, 150 ratings. The seventh worst rated book on Goodreads that I have read is Great French Short Stories, edited by Paul Negri. And this has a, an average Goodreads rating of 3.33, and I rated it 4. Out of the 10, this is probably uh, my, this is the one I thought was the best out of the 10. So much so that I had, I actually ranked it in uh, the best books that I read uh, in the year that I read this. Uh, I had it ranked as 10th. Uh, but the one good thing about this collection is that it really it introduces me to uh, a great range of French writers of all kinds. And... Uh, it's just the perfect kind of sample to introduce you, uh, especially to the uh, more the names that you recognize but haven't picked up, uh, like uh, Guy du Maupassant, which I, I read the necklace back in high school and I've revisited it plenty of times since. Uh, Emil Zola, who I read The Fortune of the Rogans, but The Attack on the Mill is a great way to get into him and what he writes. Uh, Voltaire is in here. Uh, Micromagus was incredible. Uh, Gustave Fl uh, Flaubert. People know him for Madame Bovary, but the legend of St. Julian the Hospitaller is in here. Uh, there's uh, Hinoir de Blasa, uh, the unknown masterpiece, is in here. Uh, Prosper Marry Me, uh, uh, Mato Falcone. Uh, the one thing that really stuck out about that story is the fact that uh, they refer to uh, they refer to my last name, which has origins uh, in that area. In particular, though, uh, it has origins in uh, Italy uh, because uh, my last name Caparelli refers to uh, it because last names mean something, and Caparelli refers to. Uh, refers to uh, corporals, which there are, uh, they're military officers. And uh, in particular, they, they also give a, an elaborate description as to their place in uh, history. So it, it's really mind blowing. Uh, but I think that this should be rated much higher. And I think it's a great introduction to uh, French literature. But yeah, the great French short stories, they, uh, there were 21 ratings uh, for that one. Uh, next one is My Dog Tulip by J.R. Ackerley. I do not have it on me right now, but we discussed it back in season three of Literary Gladiators. It has a an average Goodreads rating of 3.35 out of 1,508 ratings. I gave it one and a half because uh, this doesn't necessarily... What I was expecting was uh, a closer bond between the speaker and his dog, Tulip, uh, who was a, a German shepherd or an Alsatian. Uh, but it became more about what she wasn't as opposed to what she was. Uh, he concentrates heavily on her sex life, on her... Uh, Issues involving her her uh, private parts, and 
he brushes upon everything else that we would have really wanted to know, and that was why she was so special. Uh, and uh, what I, w I was first introduced to this uh, when uh, Ebert Presents at the Movies made mention to uh, the uh, animated film adaptation. I thought it looked very uh, incredible, and then I felt, why not check out the book? And I checked out the book, and I really didn't like it. Uh, number nine on my uh, 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 lowest-rated books uh, that I've read, uh, according to Goodreads, is something that I read last back in 2019, and that is... Your Heart Belongs to Me by Dean Koontz. And this has uh, an average Goodreads rating of 3.36. Out of 15,433 ratings, I gave it a 2. Uh, and that is because it very much missed the mark uh, in my mind. I didn't like the, uh, the way that this book was executed. Uh, I thought that the uh, the quality of the characters was uh, uh, somewhat poor, and I think that the uh, the supporting cast was also uh, not a very good one. Uh, but I've read other works from Dean Koontz, and I think that Your Heart Belongs to Me was among his weakest and among his uh, most forgettable as far as. Uh, major moments are concerned. There are specific details that I can remember because how can you not forget about how immature his parents were? But uh, as far as anything else is concerned, uh, and as far as the major details are concerned, it really didn't hit home. Because something like this would I think if written good, this would have terrified me because uh, just the idea of uh, heart surgery uh, just irks me. Uh, there are moments where it's necessary, but it's just the feeling. And the last one on this list is probably out of the ten my least favorite. And that is, if, you'd li if you like school, you'll love work. Uh, by Irvine Welsh. Uh, this has an average Goodreads rating of 3.37 out of 3,913 ratings. I rated it half a star, and it is one of the few books that I put down with no interest in going back to it because it is so poor. Uh, it is just it's just very it's disgusting uh, it's got very uh, it's just heavy on the vulgarity uh, unnecessary vulgarity that is uh, they mention that four letter C word uh, in the way that people use the term like uh, in their vocabulary in this day and age. Uh, it's almost as if they... Uh, it, it, the story, I mean, the stories are also just very deranged. Uh, the... You have, uh, for instance, there is something about uh, somebody getting bit in the genitals by a snake and uh, the uh, it's a man and another male is uh, being tasked to uh, remove the venom uh, and this uh, the male that's being tasked to do so is gay. Uh, another one is uh, uh, a Korean chef moves into an apartment complex uh, with uh, a woman and her dog and her dog goes missing which I think you could put the rest of them together. Uh, but these are just very... They're strange on the surface, and the execution is also very... Uh, 
outlandish. I I think that it's rightfully placed on this list. It's one of the worst things that I've ever read, and it's something that I have no interest in picking up again. I think I mean Irvine Welsh is known for works like Train Spotting, so his works are very graphic and out there, but this one is graphic out there and does to me it doesn't warrant uh, any more attention. So those are the 10 worst rated books uh, uh, according to Goodreads that I myself have read. Uh, and uh, if you like what you see on this channel, uh, please subscribe to our channel and I would be happy to discuss these books in the comments. Uh, if you really like what you see, I highly encourage you to support Literary Gladiators on Patreon. Uh, because the money that we make will allow us to provide you, the viewer, with more great content. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more. And for now, and as always, I encourage you to keep reading.